The Senate Executive Committee will come to order. We are reconvening the hearing from yesterday afternoon. We are also simultaneously calling to order the hearing that is posted for, uh, for this morning. Uh, I have a letter from um, Minority Leader Christine Rodonio uh, uh, appointing uh, Senator Bill Brady to replace Senator Matt Murphy as a member of the Executive Committee um, and appointing Senator Dale Ryder to serve as a Minority Spokesman uh, during Senator Murphy's absence. I also have a letter from uh, President Cullerton appointing uh, Senator John Mulroe to temporarily replace Senator Don Trotter. Uh, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll for the hearing this morning? Senator Brady. Senator Severson. Senator Ryder. Senator Rodonio. Here. Senator Lechtefeld. Senator Staines. Here. Senator Munoz. Here. Senator Link. Here. Senator Lightford. Senator Hunter, President Cullerton, Senator Claiborne, Senator Silverstein, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Here. Uh, Senator Mulrow is here. He's temporarily re replacing Senator Trotter. Uh, Senator Raul has been appointed uh, yesterday to replace Senator Lightford. We'll make sure the paperwork follows uh, his reappointment for this morning's hearing as well. Um, we have a quorum. We uh, have a request from BlueRoomStream.com uh, requesting permission to videotape the proceedings. See no objection. Leave is granted. I'd like to turn to our first order of business with a very special guest at the witness table. President Cullerton, you're here on Senate Resolution 232, and you have brought in a star witness. <laughs> no, actually, I know how to do it, but we'll have to teach the, the, the speaker. Uh, I'm honored to be here to present, to present this resolution. The resolution requests that the International Olympic Committee reinstate wrestling as a core sport of the Summer Olympic Games. Uh, I think everyone knows uh, uh, Speaker Hastert, um, uh, but you may not know that I actually served with him over in the House uh, many, many years ago when I was in the House and he was in the House. Uh, it's a great um, place to, uh, to learn about uh, Illinois and about the world, and we served together. And he's been a good friend. I would like to um, ask one of his uh, uh, students, one of his uh, young men that he coached, uh, to uh, introduce him, if I could, Mr. Jay Keller. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, Mr. President, members of the committee. My name is Jay Keller on behalf of the United States Olympic Committee and USA Wrestling in support of this resolution. It's an honor and a privilege to appear before you today with such wrestling icons as former Speaker Hastert, Olympian Mark Johnson, and Olympian Steve Combs. In early February, the IOC Executive Board recommended to the IOC General Assembly for a reduction in the list of core sports for the inclusion in the Olympic program. The sport of wrestling was not on that list. The IOC General Assembly will meet in September to vote on that recommendation. At the same time, the IOC is also evaluating a pool of seven potential new sports for the Olympic Games. Wrestling will compete against those seven sports for the inclusion into the 2020 Olympic program. <clears throat> wrestling will be contested in the 2016 Olympic Games, and through the IOC process, wrestling can remain on the program in 2020 and beyond. However, this will be a difficult task, but the wrestling communities throughout the world are working hard to save wrestling at the Olympic Games. Senate Resolution 232 is just one step in helping to make that happen. Wrestling is the oldest sport in the world and is the first sport mentioned in the Bible. Wrestling's history is unparalleled as one of the original Olympiad sports in 708 BC and again in the modern era in 1896. Wrestling's world championships are held all over the world through high prestige and sold out crowds in various countries and important geographic areas around the world has been part of most all multi-sport events, including Continental Cups or National Championships in more than 150 countries. Wrestling is as international as any Olympic sport. Being practiced and organized with affiliates on all continents and most countries, there are currently more than 177 countries with wrestling federations with influence in all socioeconomic levels. In the most recent London Games, wrestling had more country participation than any other sport. In fact, more different countries have won medals in wrestling than in nearly every sport in the Olympics. 
This fact alone provides justification for wrestling to be rightfully included in an Olympic game program. Wrestling is also providing competitive opportunities for women that never before existed in many countries. In 2004 in Athens, the first women wrestlers were included in the Olympics. Twenty countries sent women wrestlers to the games. In the London Games, that number more than doubled, with 42 countries participating, sending women wrestlers to the Olympics. Unlike other sports, wrestling crosses all socioeconomic boundaries from kids in African villages to city gyms in Chicago or Moscow. Wrestling is one sport that can bring countries together like the United States, Russia, Iran, and Korea together in solidarity and for the good of the world. Please help us send a strong message to the IOC and wrestling communities that the land of Lincoln supports with this resolution the long tradition and historic sport of wrestling. At this time, it is an honor for me and a privilege to introduce my history teacher, my economics teacher, my political science teacher, my high school wrestling coach, former speaker, Denny Hastert. Mr. Speaker, welcome to the executive. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, distinguished members of this uh, body. Uh, it's an honor to be here, and I uh, uh, think back to the day when I uh, served in the Illinois General Assembly. It was a great honor, and uh, surprisingly, I walk around these halls, and a lot of those bodies are still walking around. They're not even ghosts, but uh, it, it's an honor to be here, especially on this issue. I, I'm, I don't have prepared remarks, but I want to speak from my heart. And you have to excuse me. I just flew in from Turkey last night, uh, and uh, I'm, I think I'm oriented fairly well, but... Uh, you know, I, I started out as a coach in, in a little town called Yorkville, Illinois. Uh, I taught economics and government and history and uh, sociology, kind of the stuff of what we do here in these places. But I also coached the sport of wrestling and uh, became a, a president of a state coaches association and then became a president of a national coaches group. And through that activity, I really got involved in, in athletic politics and uh, decided that uh, someday I would like to follow that career, and I did in 1980, came to the Illinois legislature, served here for six years, and then went on to Congress. Uh, but it was those types of experiences that gave me the opportunity in this sport to do some things that I never thought I'd possible or dream that I had possible to do. And it's not just the sport of it, wrestling. Most intercollegiate, interscholastic sports give people those types of opportunities. But the U.S. Olympic, or, or excuse me, International Olympic Committee, uh, because of inside politics uh, that happens when uh, the, the bodies of those things are made up from sheiks and uh, archdukes and grand dukes and those types of folks, that sometimes it, the, the, it's the politics of the unreachable and uh, a, dis a disagreement that happened. But uh, the world has stood up and said, look, it, this is an important sport. It creates an, an important uh, opportunity for people around the world from all types of places, from all types of cultures, uh, from the plains of Mongolia where wrestling is the number one sport uh, to countries like Iran and Russia and Turkey and uh, Yugoslavia and, and the other uh, stands across the world, plus Canada and the United States and England and Germany, on and on and on, all have great wrestling programs and uh, are able to, to participate. And uh, when you take away the opportunity to have these types of people uh, participate in these programs, you not only cheat the kids of people that they can look up to, the Dan Gables of the world and others, but you also cheat these kids of mentors. Uh, even here in the state of Illinois, I can name off my hand three folks that have been very much involved in the collegiate and, and, and interscholastic wrestling programs that were once uh, Olympic wrestlers. Uh, I uh, would like to introduce and just tell that we have uh, a fellow by the name of Steve Combs, who is a resident of Springfield, uh, was the uh, coach at Deerfield High School, wrestled in the 1968 Olympics, uh, was a national uh, uh, contender in, in collegiate sports, and uh, coached at Deerfield, went on to uh, be the president of the International Wrestling, uh, National Wrestling Association, and then uh, ended up in, uh, coaching in, in Muhammad, Illinois. Uh, another gentleman uh, we have with us uh, uh, coached, uh, started his high school career in Rock Island, uh, went on and uh, graduated from college, uh, wrestled uh, in the Olympic team, and then came back and was the head coach of the University of Illinois and led them into the top 10 place winners for years and years in uh, the uh, NCAAs. These are the type of people 
that our mentors and our people that have the ability to reach down and touch our kids and make a difference in their lives. And to do away with a sport like wrestling uh, is, not, uh, is not right. And uh, people have stood up around the world. We're one of uh, 30 states that are standing up and saying, look, it, uh, we should not do this. Uh, the, the United States of America, along with the U.S. Congress, are passing resolutions telling the International Olympic Committee they need to change their position. Uh, I appreciate you taking some time. This is not you know, evolve the state of Illinois. It doesn't uh, really change uh, how we're doing business in the state, but it does reach our kids. It does make a difference for, different, for, separate, for generations to come. So I appreciate you taking the time. <clears throat> uh, Leader Cullerton, thank you for your uh, work in doing this, and I just want to say God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, please add Senator Severson and Senator Ryder to the roll. Are there any questions for our guests? Senator Severson. Uh, Mr. President, thank you for uh, uh, introducing this resolution. And, uh, Mr. Speaker, great to uh, have you here. Uh, yes, I wrestled uh, a couple years in high school. If you can imagine, 147. But uh, now I think I have one leg that weighs that much. But uh, uh, and I enjoyed spending two years on my back. It trained me for being down here in Springfield. So, uh, so from that standpoint, it was good. Uh, but I know a few sports that really teach uh, young people, you know, discipline and the, uh, the impact it has on so many lives uh, for people uh, is, is immense. And so uh, I think this is when I first read about uh, the idea of taking away uh, this uh, sport, which is uh, an incredible training uh, a sport, uh, out of Olympics, and then seeing what the other sports they have. I still don't get the curling and some of that kind of sissy stuff, but uh, this is something that's important. It's important for all the young people that work so hard for that uh, goal, uh, and so I, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to speak on this and to bring forward this uh, an important uh, resolution that I think is going to mean a lot to an awful lot of our high school kids in Illinois. Thank you, Senator. I've learned that you've uh, learned how to fight off your back pretty well. <laughs> Other questions? Uh, with that, I would join oh, Senator President Cullerton. I, I was just going to join Senator Severson, and, and, uh, and I, I wrestled in college. Uh, it's a remarkable sport. There's nothing more challenging. I was never a threat to the Olympic team, but I can tell you details about gym ceilings all across Iowa. So. Um, President Cullerton, to close. I just wanted to, uh, to say, first of all, uh, 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 Senator Brady's here uh, taking the place of Senator Murphy. I hope Senator Murphy uh, recuperates. I saw him uh, get injured last night in our annual Senate House softball game. We would have won but for his uh, injury, uh, and so I'm, I hope he uh, gets better quickly. Uh, it, it's really an honor to be here with these Olympians um, and, and with, and with the, the speaker, um, but, you know, this is something that, I think will make a difference. I, I know many times we pass resolutions urging people to do things, and we sometimes question whether or not it's going to make a difference. But I'm really heartened to know that uh, some 30 states, legislators, I know this is going to happen in the House today, uh, this will uh, really make a difference. Um, uh, hopefully it will make a difference by bringing attention. The other thing is that you think about the Olympians uh, and the success they've had here uh, from in their connection to Illinois. but the thing about the sport, and Senator, um, Senator um, Brady and I were talking about this last night with Senator Duffy. Perfect example. He's got a young uh, a brother who was smaller than the other brothers. Who, you know, he had a sport that he played. And I have a son that, that wrestled in high school, a very uh, low weight, uh, and yet they can compete. Uh, and the idea of not having this be an Olympic game might have the effect of discouraging kids from going into wrestling. We have, I understand, the second largest uh, wrestling high school wrestlers in the, in the nation. So I really think it'll make a difference um, um, and uh, appreciate everybody's support. Thank you. With that, Senator Mulrow moves. We recommend uh, do adopt Senate Resolution 232. Is there a leave for the attendance roll call? Seeing no objection, leave is granted. The resolution will be so reported. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Senator Munoz, I know that you are eager to get to a memorial service. Uh, do